So I've been hearing a lot of talk about this plan to shoot barred owls in the United States. A lot of strange headlines that don't tell the whole story. I know Senator John Kennedy was talking about this and uh, trying to get it stopped. So there's been a lot of information going around. I'm gonna do my best to clear it up and give you everything you need to know about this really complex and tough issue. So to start from the top, we have the Northern Spotted Owl, which is one of three subspecies of spotted owl that can be found in the Americas. So you have the Northern Spotted in the Pacific Northwest. That's mostly the one we're talking about. Also a subspecies that lives more in California and then one that lives further south. And the Spotted Owl requires very specific habitats for it to live. So old growth forests, they have been negatively impacted by logging. So a lot of their habitat has been taken away, but they need uh, really specific requirements for them to be able to live in a certain area. So a lot of that forest was logged. There was a big effort to preserve it. So millions of acres of forest were preserved to try to protect the spotted owl and prevent that logging. That was a big conservation kind of clash, you know, people wanting to preserve that forest, other people wanting to log it, but a lot of that was saved for the spotted owl. So on the other side of this issue, we have the barred owl, which traditionally was found in the eastern United States. They didn't really cross the Great Plains, but at some point they made their way over. And the reason why is pretty hotly debated. A lot of people think that it was because of human intervention, making more forests, kind of suppressing fires, changing the landscape that allowed the barred owl to move further west. And so they're more a generalist species. They don't need as specific requirements to live in an area. So they'll kind of live in places where spotted owls might not. So they came into the West. They've been encroaching on spotted owl habitat. The main thing is they outcompete them. So they will go in an area. They can get resources more easily. They, you know, hunt a little more efficiently and they outcompete the spotted owls and push them out of their territory. And it's also thought that the barred owls may even eat the smaller spotted owls because in pellets, uh, they've found you know traces of spotted owls. So it's thought that barred owls may even eat spotted owls, although that's not the main driver. And they will also hybridize sometimes. So instead of having you know a pure line of spotted owls, you're trying to save any of hybrid offspring, it kind of dilutes the gene pool. So that's also tough. So the barred owls have really negatively impacted the spotted owls presumably because humans helped them kind of move into the West or they, you know, created the conditions for them to move over, although we don't have all the information about what allowed them to do that. So a lot of the forests have been protected. They tried to do a lot of things to save the spotted owl, but unfortunately their populations are still declining. And with the issue of the barred owl out competing them in that area, it's caused a lot of issues. So there's been a push by the US Fish and Wildlife Service to shoot a lot of barred owls to help save the spotted owl to kind of get them out of this area where they traditionally weren't living. Also worth noting, the spotted owl has been listed as threatened since 1990 under the Endangered Species Act. There's been talk of actually bumping that up to endangered because basically if there's no human intervention at this point, they will probably go extinct in this region. So it's a very serious problem where if there's no intervention, we're probably gonna lose spotted owls in these areas. And there are certain places where they're virtually almost gone, such as Washington. I heard it's incredibly difficult to find a spotted owl there where you used to be able to find them more easily than you can now. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service did a pilot program where they shot barred owls in certain areas to see if that would help the spotted owls, and it did. And so the U.S. Fish and Wildlife proposed a plan in 2024 to remove up to 450,000 barred owls over 30 years across part of their range. So I've been hearing these crazy numbers about like, it's gonna be this barred owl slaughter. And this is kind of their estimate over a long period of time. It's not like people are just gonna go out and shoot this many owls in a year or a month or something like that. So this is over a long period of time that this would be happening. Also in the proposal, to my knowledge, is gonna be trained professionals because barred owls and spotted owls look very similar. So you do need some training, some ID work to identify one versus the other and not shoot the wrong one. So it's not just gonna be like bounty hunters, you know, random people without ID knowledge going out there and shooting owls. That is not the point of this plan. In Senator Kennedy's speech, he was very impassioned about talking about this. And it was a very emotional appeal. You know, he's talking about mommy and daddy barred owls. And I love barred owls. I hate to see any animal shot. And uh, I thought he did a really good job talking about how much he loved barred owls. Barred owls are great, but the spotted owl is really the main focus of this. And I've seen a lot of the coverage being like, they're gonna kill all these owls and da 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 da. And people are getting really, you know, over the top about we need to save the barred owl without really thinking about if nothing is done, then the spotted owl will probably go extinct. So that's really what this is about the spotted owl and not the barred owl. Our barred owl populations are doing really well in most of the United States. You know, there may be certain areas where they're 
a little less, but compared to the spotted owl, they're doing very, very well. They're very robust. You can find them in a lot of different areas and their habitat requirements aren't as specific. So this is really about trying to save the spotted owl and kind of a last ditch effort to do it because it doesn't really matter if that habitat is preserved if there's a bigger predator out competing the spotted owl. Senator Kennedy also talked about the bounty being $3,000 per bird. That was a rough estimate from a previous pilot study. So I'm assuming that's not what the final number would be or what it would all cost. That was based on, you know, something they did in the past, I believe with a Native American tribe and actually going out there to do this. So I hope it's not that. That sounds pretty crazy, $3,000 a bird, uh, but that was based on a previous study. So of course, this sounds like a pretty wild plan. And if you just hear it on its face, you know, the government wants to kill all these owls. It's a pretty, you know, emotional response. Of like, how could we kill owls? I don't want to do that. We shouldn't be doing that. But basically, this is kind of the last ditch effort to try to save the northern spotted owl. So it might seem wild, but you got to think about it in the context of barred owls didn't traditionally live in this part of the western US. They're really negatively affecting the spotted owl. And if nothing is done, we're probably going to lose that species forever. So it's a really tough issue. There's a lot going on here. It's complex. It's hard to kind of portray all the information accurately, but I've just seen a lot of people really kind of globbing onto the, how can we kill all these barred owls? We gotta save the barred owls. Well, really not talking about the spotted owl or saving them. So it's just a really tough issue. There's, I don't think there's a great answer either way. I think they're just kind of like, if we don't do anything, then we're gonna lose the spotted owl. So when you see these kind of inflammatory headlines, do a little bit of research, you know, learn the backstory on it and know that this is being done or at least proposed for a purpose. So Senator Kennedy gave that speech. He was trying to basically show that they disapproved of this plan and that vote did not pass. So they did not get that vote of disapproval. So presumably this plan is going to continue to go forward unless something else happens with it. Uh, but that's a little bit of the background info. It's complicated. Uh, you know, I don't want to see barred owls killed. I also don't want us to lose the spotted owl. So it's just a tough it's a tough ecological issue, but it's important to know the facts. You know, barred owls weren't traditionally in this area. They're out competing the spotted owl and we might lose it if nothing happens. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please remember to be respectful of other people's opinions. It's a very emotional issue. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. But that's some of what you need to know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.